Okay, so this is my vanity. Hey, can you see me? <laughs> you can't see my face though. Because, I mean, my face is cute, but it's not made up. And, you know, I'm chilling right now. So I don't feel like doing the most. But, I mean, don't get it twisted. The face is still cute. It's just fresh and unbeat. <laughs> these are my body sprays. So that's one in a million from Bath and Body Works. Most of these are Bath and Body Works. And pretty much one in a million is like a lighter, fresher Gucci Bloom dupe. It's not as green smelling. You smell more of the white florals. In Gucci Bloom, you smell the greenness as well. But this one, you smell that it, it, it's a combination of tuberose and jasmine. So the jasmine brings it more into that white floral territory. But in Gucci Bloom, you smell more of that tuberose and that greenness and a little bit of that menthol that some people hate. I go back and forth with the mentholated stuff, but I kind of like it in Gucci Bloom. This is Champagne Toast by Bath and Body Works. I have the body lotion and I've used up so much of the body lotion, but I'm gonna start wearing this at night. I've been reading the reviews on bathandbodyworks.com and people claim that this has really good lasting power to be a body spray. So I'm gonna give it a try one night. And if it's the business, I'll wear it out during the day too. We got Rebel Floor Body Mist by Rihanna. If you layer this on top of coconut oil, like actual coconut oil that smells like coconut oil, or the St. Ives Coconut and Orchid Lotion, it lasts quite a while, and it has nice lasting, I mean, it has nice sillage or rejection. It gets on your clothes and it'll stay on your clothes for a while, but it smells so good. This body mist smells better than the original body, per, I mean, the original Eau de Parfum but it's about the same type of smell as the new Rebel Floor Love Always. So if you want to test out this scent for a cheap price just to see if you like it, go to Walmart and get you this body spray. I see this at Walmart all the time. I also see it at places like Bit Lots a few times. You know, your discount places. And when if worse comes to worse, order it from Fragrance Net or order it online basically. But it smells good and wear it on top of coconut lotion and you will get your life unless you hate coconut. If you wear it at night, it's gonna last you while you're sleeping, but if you have a man, you might not get much sleep. I'm just saying. So this is Sophia Love by Sophia Vergara. I got the body mist first and I loved it. So I was like, I'm gonna get the perfume. And I got the perfume and the lasting power of the perfume isn't much better than the body mist. But if you tweak it a little bit, it can work. How do I tweak it? I wear it under my Coco Chanel lotion. And before that, I used to layer it with another perfume. What perfume was it? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Moving on. This is French Lavender Honey Body Mist. This smells pretty much pretty, fruity floral. I don't get much lavender. I don't pick up much lavender. But it's just an easy, fruity floral. It's not necessarily groundbreaking, but if you just want to smell pretty, you can wear this. <laughs> Hello! It's supposed to be a dupe for Twilly the Hermes. It's not that great of a dupe, but I can kind of smell that they were smelling Twilly the Hermes when they made this, but it's not really a successful dupe. It's like if Twilly the Hermes decided to make an Eau de Toilette version and they kind of didn't have the same quality ingredients. And that sounds bad, right? But I just got this on a whim because it was on sale at Big Lots. It's cool for like wearing around the house. Like say you get up and you take a bath but you're not going anywhere, just go ahead and spray this all over your body. Over spray and wear like a pastel colored chill around the house outfit. It doesn't smell like you should be wearing dark colors. It just smells like you should be wearing maybe your pastel robe that's still kind of cute you know 